Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Deep Code question 989 that says add to array form of integer. So here we are given one integer in the form of an array. So let's say if the integer is 1, 3, 2, 1. So here we are given that same integer in this form like in the form of the array 1, 3, 2, 1. And we are given one another integer k and we need to return uh, one array of num plus k in the form of the array. So 1, 2, 0, 0, that is 1200 and k is 34 here. So the summation of would be 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So we need to output this number in the form of this type of array. Okay, got it. So yeah, here also the same 274 plus 181 is 455. So we return 4, 5, 5 in the array. Yeah, and same here, the nums is 215 and the k is 806. So the summation is 1021. So we need to return 1, 0, 2, 1. So yeah, that's uh, an easy question. I hope you guys understood that what we are doing here. Now, what the first intuition that you uh, that comes to your mind might be that uh, yeah, we can convert these nums item into some number like this. Then we can add uh, the integer k, and yeah, we can convert this to again this array by taking um, the modulus of the last number like modulus of ten and storing the la each of the digits in this array. Like yeah, that that type of intuition might come to your mind at a first look. So the code for that would be like this. Here what we are simply doing is that uh, we are simply uh, traversing from 0 to n and storing uh, all the numbers into this n, right? By multiplying by 10 and then storing each digit and simply we are doing and then we are doing n plus equals to k. And yeah, we took one answer variable and then we push back all the digits uh, into this answer and we reverse the answer. So yeah, and we return the answer. But what the issue would be with this brute force solution is that that let's say you have one uh, input of this like 999 999 999 means there are 10 nines here and yeah here n is integer so it won't be able to store this large number okay so you will get this runtime error of sign integer overflow because uh, you can see that this nums length is up till 10 is to power 4. So converting this nums length into some integer like this as they have shown here in the explanation part then it is not possible correct you won't be able to convert uh, this nums length into anything like either an integer or a long long int or anything it's 10 to the power 4 okay so yeah we need to find some another better approach got it so here what we will do is we will take k itself as a square itself as a carry how, how itself is a carry? So let me show you with this example 274 and 181. So here, here our nums array here is 274 uh, and k is 181. So what we simply need to do here is 274 plus 181. But what we will take, what we'll, uh, we will do k itself as a carry. So how that works? So we will directly add 181 to the last number. So 181 plus 4. Would be what would be 185 but we will only store 5 here and we will uh, take the remaining so 185 was there so we store 5 and this remaining as a carry this is would be forwarded so yeah it is forwarded here now 18 plus 7 is how much 25 so 5 is taken so from this 25 5 is taken and 2 is forwarded again so 2 is forwarded here 2 plus 2 4 455 is the answer correct yeah 455 is correct so what we are doing here is we are taking k as a carry and we are all forwarding the answer right correct so if you take some another example like 215 and 806 so let me take that 215 and 806 okay 806 plus 5 is how much it's 811 811 so we will only take one here and 81 is forwarded so here 81 plus 1 is 82 2 is here see this is 82 2 is here and 8 is now forwarded 8 8 plus 2 is how much? 10 and here 1. So there is nothing. So 1. 1, 0, 2, 1 is the answer. Do we get 1, 0, 2, 1? Yeah. So what we are doing here is we are simply taking each uh, element of the nums array. We are adding the k and we are forwarding the remaining part. Simple as it is. Okay. Now let me show you the code here. Okay. So this is the code for the approach that I am talking right now. Uh, so yeah, here what we are doing is here we are traversing from the back okay uh, you might be thinking that uh, why back because of what we are doing here itself here we are towers we are adding k to the last element right addition always happen from the back okay now let me try to explain you by this by taking an example 
so yeah if let's say we have something like 237 and k is uh, let's say 199 okay k is this and this is nums array clear now initially what the first step we are doing we are doing nums of 5 plus equal to k that is 199 plus 7 so how much that is that is 206 right 206 now from this 206 what we are making k see uh, this is initial value initial then the new k uh, new k and that is and this is nums of i n of i so yeah now the new k is what what the new k becomes this is 206 divided by k divided by 10 so it now new k becomes 20 and what does a nums of i remain it remains 6 okay now now here what we are adding 3 plus what 20 in the next iteration 3 plus 20 is how much 3 plus 20 is 23 now what the k remains 23 divided by 10 2 and nums of i would be 3 now this 2 2 plus 2 is 4 right now k becomes 0 and nums of i uh, modulus 10 this also becomes uh, 4 okay remains 4 got it so 4 3 6 is our answer and yeah you add uh, this 237 plus 190 how it how much it would be it would be 4 3 6 correct simple as it is and yeah if any situation if we have k remaining then we will keep we will simply add uh, it uh, in the forward right and in the beginning nums dot begin uh, we will add that we will insert that yeah and at the end we will return nums simple as it is so uh, in what case here it would be remaining so let's say here instead of 4 just assume that here instead of 4 it, there would, it would be let's say 14 correct so here instead of 0 we have 1 remaining as a k so this one would be forwarded so here the loop this loop will end because nums of i is uh, is uh, means it would be i would become uh, zero correct now after that we need there is one still remaining so we will insert that in the nums array at the beginning correct so yeah in the end we will add simply written nums array so this approach i hope is clear to all of you and yeah if you have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section okay so as you can see that this code works and yeah, it uh, works pretty much well as you can see here now talking about uh, the time and space complexity so yeah here the time complexity of this code would be would be big of n as we are traversing all the n elements of the num set uh, and yeah and the space complexity is big of one as we are not taking any other thing we are simply storing in the original num set so yeah i hope you guys understood the question the approach and how we are solving them so yeah and if you have still any doubts then do let me know in this comment section uh, and also make sure that you check out the community section where i am posting the job opportunities on daily basis so yeah make sure you check that out now yeah that's all for this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you